Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be drawing Pride Flags as humans. I'm going to be showing time-lapse videos from Procreate of eight different Pride Flags. Uh, I actually made these drawings two years ago, so it's been a while and my style has definitely improved. But I just got a job and don't have time to make anything new for a video. So let's just get into it. So the first flag that I chose to make was the asexual flag. I chose to make this flag first because I really like the colors and I thought it would make a good portrait drawing. When I draw portraits, I like to start with the colors and then I like to sort of map out where the features are. I mostly do this out of laziness because I'm too lazy to make the sketch, but I also think it's just more interesting and more fun. Here I finally go in with some colors. I chose purple for the eyeshadow because when you're doing portraits, there's a limit to what you can do to make the flag recognizable. So the only thing that I could really use to make it look like the flag is the eyes and then makeup and any sort of small details in the face. So you can see me using a lot of stickers and such in this series. For this portrait I decided to give her a little band-aid on the nose. And there's not really any meaning behind it, I was just trying things out. There was no planning beforehand. I also added some black makeup under the eyes, just to get some more of the colors of the flags, and then I gave her purple lips. And I'm actually still pretty happy with the lips, I think they're really cute. And then I gave her some freckles, and of course she needs a neck and an ear. And then here goes the hair, I decided on black because that was the last color that I hadn't really used, so I had to put that in there. And then I tried giving her white pupils, which I actually changed back later, and I gave her a band-aid on the cheek. And here comes my favorite part, the purple grape juice blood. And here is the finished drawing for the asexual flag. I think it turned out pretty good. And next up is trans. This one I had a lot of fun with and it is also one of my favorite ones in this series. I'm a big fan of baby blue and baby pink. So I was really excited for this color palette and I had a lot of fun with it. I decided to draw a trans woman because I am a lot better at drawing feminine presenting people and it's easier to convey femininity with makeup, which is what I need to use to make the flags. I decided to go with this sort of half and half type of theme where her upper lip is pink and the lower lip is blue and then one side of her face has blue eyelashes and a pink eye and the other one has pink eyelashes and a blue eye. I thought that would make things just a little bit more interesting. So here I'm going in with a hair. That's a part that I struggled a little bit with because I didn't really know what kind of hairstyle I want to give her. And then I gave her some heart stickers under the eyes because I thought they were cute. And a little pink earring. And then here I'm drawing the final hair. And I think it turned out pretty good. So here I'm just putting in the final details in the hair. And then the drawing is finished. And here's the final product. I think she's adorable. Really happy with the results. The next one is the lesbian flag. Uh, this one I was also very excited about because the color palette is just really pretty. And also colors that I don't really use very often, so it was a bit more of a challenge. This is also the flag with the most colors so far in this video. So it was definitely a challenge to get all of these colors in one little portrait. So I sort of crammed a lot of the colors in the eye makeup and then later you can see that I also made a lot of stickers uh, to get all the, these colors in. And here I'm shading in the eyes and giving her her little eyelashes. I went with black this time just so that it wouldn't be too much color. Um, and then I also decided on pink lips. And then I also decided to give her black eyebrows just again so there wouldn't be too much color and too much chaos going on. And here's where I first start doing the stickers. So you can see me struggling a little bit, I didn't really know what I wanted to make, but then I decided on frogs and stars, because I feel like astrology and frogs are a gay thing to like. Then I also gave her a froggy chair ear earring, because that was something that was really popular on TikTok at the time, especially with lesbians. And here I'm coloring in the hair, I went mayhem on it, I just chose all the colors, it was very colorful. Um, and you can see me drawing in the back later. Also gave her a choker just for a fun touch. I felt like we needed more orange and red. 
And here I'm coloring in the last stickers and then she's pretty much done. And here's the final result. Next up is the non-binary flag. This is another flag that has colors that I normally wouldn't put together. So it was also a challenge, um, but also fun. It was a good challenge. I liked it. The color that was the most challenging to put in this drawing was actually the white one, which is quite strange. But I somehow just couldn't figure out how to put that in. So there's a lot less white that there could be. Here you can see me putting in like white eyeliner um, and then I put some white around the sticker, but that's pretty much it. But I'm really happy with the eye makeup. I think it looks fantastic. Then I gave them some black hair with purple highlights, which I think is, looks quite cool. And a lot of happy stickers on the face. And of course they need a neck and some eyes. And these are probably my favorite eyes of this series. I think they look really good and I love the purple. I'm usually not a fan of purple, but in this drawing, really good. And then here are the lips. And that's pretty much it. Here is the finished result. This one is my favorite from this series. Next up is the bisexual flag. So another flag with purples, uh, which is very common in the pride flags apparently, and also a color that I don't really use very often. So very fun to get to work with purple. Didn't expect it. And this one I actually gave some ombre elements. So the eyes have the sort of like ombre from blue to purple to pink, and so do the lips. I wanted to give her a more bold makeup, so I gave her these two black triangles instead of lower lashes, and then I added two cute little stars under her eyes. Here you can see me struggling with the hair. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know what color I wanted. I didn't know what shape I wanted. So I started with this magenta color and then I added some purple in it later. Here you go, some purple. Didn't like that. Uh, yeah, it was a whole mess. But in the end, I decided on this sort of bluish black color because I felt that it made it more bold and didn't blend in with the uh, flag in the background. Then I gave her a lot of small details to tie it all together, and then here's the finished result. So the next flag is the aromantic flag. So this is the first one that we have that has green in it, so that's very exciting. And just like I've done with all of the other drawings, I sort of map out where I want the features to be and shade it a little bit before I do the eyes or the line art part. So here I'm drawing the eyes and eyelashes, just like I've done with all of the other drawings. And then I give her some more uh, shading and some more blush. And then here's the eye makeup. Um, decided to go with green, black and white, which are the colors of the black, so makes sense. But decided to cram them all into the eye because I thought it would make for a cool effect. Then I decided on green eyes. And here I get a little bit experimental and decide to go with these sort of running type of eyes. Um, which I do scrap later because it looks a little bit too different from the others and too alien in a way. And then I decide on green for the hair, but I wanted to give her black roots. So it's like she has colored her hair green. And then I go with some super green highlights because uh, I thought it would be fun and pretty. <laughs> then I struggled with the mouth. I had no idea what I wanted to do with it. I wanted to do something different. Um, but it all looked just a little weird and different from the others, so I decided to just go with the normal type of lips that I've done for all the others, so they would all fit together. And because it felt a little alien, I decided to give her little aliens under her eyes <laughs> and then some freckles. And that's it for this drawing. Next up is the gender fluid flag. I had actually never seen this flag before I made this series, but it was a highly requested flag on my TikTok. Um, and I think it's a really pretty flag. It has a lot of good colors that I like. I really like the pink. Um, so I really enjoyed this. So here, like with all of the other drawings, I draw in the eyes and then I shade around it, give her some nostrils, all that good stuff. For the makeup, I decided to give them pink on the inner corners and then purple on the ends and then a little bit of blue under the eyes. And I really liked how the different eye color thingy worked with the trans flag, so I decided to do the same thing here, but this time with pink and purple. 
I decided on blue for the hair and eyebrows because I've already used pink and purple for the eyes. And then here I'm drawing in the hair. Um, but I also decided to have some black accents because I realized that I didn't have anything black except for the line art. So I had to add that in here. Then I added in some hair clips just to put some more of that pink in there. And since I made the hair clips pink, I decided to make the lips purple. Uh, but then I changed that later because I didn't like it. And I thought pink would be a lot cuter. And then I added a fang because fang knows our fun. And some final stickers. And here's the final result. The eighth and final flag of this video is the pan flag. The color palette for the pan flag is immaculate. I'm a huge fan of magenta, bright yellow and bright blue together uh, and I've actually used it a lot. I use this color palette for example on both the profile picture of my Instagram and my TikTok. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this color palette. Uh, not as big of a fan of this drawing that I made though. Um, I don't think it is as good as it could have been. I used the blue for the eyelashes and then I decided on the magenta and the yellow for the eyeshadow. And then I used all of the colors in the eyes, which is where I think things went wrong. I decided to give her half and half type of hair where one half is magenta and the other is blue. And I think this actually went pretty well and it looks pretty good. And then here you can see me try a different eye color because I didn't like the first one. Um, but I just end up going back to the other one because this was even worse. <laughs> but you know. Here I give her a little ponytail and then I give her some highlights in the hair. And then I start trying to incorporate the yellow into the drawing again with those horrendous lips. And this kind of a cloud-ish makeup. Which isn't bad, but I end up changing it later on in the drawing. I actually struggled a lot with the lips, um, even more later because I just end up wanting to incorporate all the colors in there. Um, but they actually look pretty good, they're not terrible. And here I start drawing in my absolute favorite part of the drawing, which are these pan earrings. Because I thought it, was, it would be a little funny to have pansexual with pan earrings, you know? A running joke in the community. Um, here's Here you can see how the lips turned out, it were a little bit... A little too much color um, and here's the finish, finished result not bad but could be better so that was it for today's video if you made it this far thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and see you next week bye bye